Hey guys and welcome back. In this video we shall see how to download and install VMware Workstation Pro. VMware Workstation Player has been discontinued and VMware has been acquired by Broadcom. So the Workstation Pro version has been made available for the personal use for free. So we are going to download and install that. So all you need to do is just open your browser and then you'll have to search for VMware Workstation Pro and then from here I want you to click on the first link which is from vmware.com Now coming under here you have to click here download fusion or workstation Then you will be taken up to this page which is from Broadcom and uh, here you will have to log in into your account in case if you have not created a profile on Broadcom, then you will have to register first. You just have to click here on this login button and then click on register. Registration is very simple and straightforward. You will need to provide a email ID and then some of your personal information. And once you have created your profile, you can return back to this page, then enter your details and then log in into your account. Since I have already created an account on Broadcom so I'm just going to directly sign in now once you are logged into your account you can just click here on my dashboard then on this search bar you can search for workstation and then from the result you can click here on workstation pro then coming under here you can just click on this link all right then just scroll down Then under references, you will find Workstation Pro. Then you'll have to click on the first link. The second link is for the documentation. And for the software, you'll have to click on the first link. All right, since I am using Windows, so I'm going to click here on this link. And uh, I'm going to use the software for my personal use. Hence, I don't need any license. So I'm going to download this one then coming under here you can choose the latest release and click on it all right then again scroll down now you have to click here on i agree to terms and conditions after that you can just click here on this download button you can click on yes then on this page you will have to provide your address information so i'll just quickly do that if you're done with that you have to click here on I agree and then finally you can just click here on submit if your download has not begun yet you can click on this download button once again and the download is going to start just like this it's 618 MB now once the download is complete you can open the folder where you have downloaded the software here it is so I'm just going to right click on it and then click on run as administrator. Click on yes. Let me just minimize this. All right. Now you have to click on next. Click on I accept the terms in the license agreement. Click on next. Click next. Now I don't want to join the customer experience improvement program. Next. Again next. And finally install. Once the installation is finished, you can just click here on finish button. All right. And then you will be able to see the Workstation Pro icon on the desktop. If it is not present on the desktop, you can click on the start button and then search for Workstation. And then you will be able to see the VMware Workstation Pro. So just click on it. Now on this window, you will have to choose the first option that is use VMware Workstation for personal use. In case if you are going to use the software for commercial purpose, you will have to enter license key. Then click on continue. Click on finish. And the Workstation Manager is going to open up. And that's all for this video. If you want to learn how to create virtual machines for Windows or Mac OS or Linux, you can check out my other videos. The link to those videos are in the description. Thanks for watching.